How to use Confluence for beginners. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. So this video is going to be an introduction for Confluence. How to get started, how to use it for those people who are just getting started with it. Or if you're just still wondering whether you should start with using Confluence or not. So Confluence basically is going to be a workspace for you and your team to brainstorm, create projects, uh, use uh, project management applications and just you know fully custom customizable workspace for you and your team so let's actually get started and you will like understand more what confluence is going to be able to do for you and your team and your projects so here you can see like you can start with a page you can import even a page that you have created with uh, docs or whatever it may be and you can just import it and start working on it or share it with your team uh, next step you know you just share it with your team your team can actually work on it as well so you can you know collaborate uh, on projects together uh, and you can just you know connect all of your work within a workspace or multiple workspaces which is very very nice now before we get started let's actually just go ahead and talk about the pricing uh, because, you know, people would obviously need to know if you are going to be paying anything for it. Now, there are going to be, I think, four plans or, yeah, four plans. One of them is the free plan is going to be completely for free and is going to be for up to 10 users. This is going to be the free plan. So you can use uh, or have a team of 10 users, which is actually very nice, you know, speaking that it is actually for free. Uh, you will get two gigabytes of file storage and uh other things here that you can read i'm not going to go through all of them but then you've got the standard plan which is going to be per user per month okay uh so it's not just six dollars per month is going to be per user or per month and you can see the difference you get you get up to fifty thousand users so um yeah you can see how this can actually affect your uh workspace and stuff and then we got the premium, which is going to be also per user uh, per month. And then you can see the other stuff that you will be getting for this plan. And then if you have an inter a much bigger uh, company and you want to have a specifics, you can just go for enterprise. So let's actually go ahead and get started. To get started, you just go to um, this website, atlassian.com slash software slash confluence. So if we just can go back here. So Atlassian.com slash software slash confluence. And we just go ahead and get it for free. We just click on that. And then we just go ahead and sign up. You can just use your email. I'm just going to be using Google. It's just much faster and easier to use uh, Google. So let me just go ahead and choose my account and wait for it to sign me up. Here I will need to enter some more stuff. So, um, we can just actually go ahead and agree and continue. It was already filled, so no need. Okay. So let me just go ahead and uh, there you go. Okay. So it just uh, confirms that we're on the free plan. If not, it's going to also tell you that you're going to be subscribing to a, another plan. And we can just go ahead and click on get started. And we can just go ahead and wait for it to work here. Actually, I would just skip until we get to the actual homepage, just so you know, I don't waste your time. So after you uh, wait a little bit, it didn't take too long, it's going to ask you a few more questions about your work. Uh, and if you want to invite people to your uh, Confluence, if you didn't do that, it's fine. You can do it from here as well. And I will show you how to do so. But you should find yourself within this home page after you're done. So in here is going to be basically where you do all the work. Uh, what I suggest that you first do, and I personally just like to do it first, is go to uh, my profile picture here. Go to theme and make it dark. <laughs> That's the first thing. So next up, you will find yourself within this page where you'll find home, recent, spaces, team uh, or teams, apps and templates. Let me go over them real quick. I'm not going to take too much time here. So the home page is going to be uh, the page where you will have overviews about everything. The spaces uh, tab here, your recents, 
uh, start and here is going to be in the middle where you uh, things that you were working on and you just you know stopped is going to tell you to pick up where you left off uh, in here is going to show you more announcements so things that you are um, from spaces that you are in and stuff if there's anything new that is going on is going to be shown in here uh, and more activities and stuff and then here you can also manage your tasks uh, that are assigned to you created by you uh, you can uh, manage your drafts, uh, start, recent, and so on. So this is going to be for the homepage. It's just an overview of everything else going on within Confluence. Uh, I forgot about this. Switch to is going to be actually very, very useful if you're using other services by uh, Atlassian, like Jira or uh, Trello. So if you're using any of those things, you can just click on here and switch between them easily. Uh, and quickly. So for the recent, here you're going to see all things that are or have been worked on recently. It's either worked on, it's going to filter things out for you, either created by you, there are going to be things that are created by you and you have used it recently, uh, starred and drafts if you have any. Uh, and then for spaces, it's basically going to be uh, you can create multiple spaces and every space is going to be for uh, or you can make it to be for a specific project so one space for one project and you can just join that space and have people invite them to that specific space to work on a specific project if you want it to be for a different project you create a different space and so on so uh, just think of it as it's pretty much a space or workspace that you can create it or make multiple ones of it based on what or how you want to work with it. It either can be per project or it can be per task. I wouldn't obviously not per task, just maybe per different or completely different um, uh, project type maybe. So it's going to be completely up to you on how you want to use your spaces. Next up, we've got Teams. Here, you're going to be able to invite people to Confluence generally, or you can actually create a team. Uh, and actually, you can search uh, for people in here. So you can just click on search people, and you'll be able to uh, find people from here. And you can obviously create your team in here. So uh, that's going to be for the Teams tab. For the apps, you'll be able to integrate many, many apps for Confluence, like we said, so uh, we can act, add Google Drive, Slack, uh, or we can just click on find a new apps in here, and it's going to open up our app store for Confluence, and you can see some of them are for free, some of them are paid, uh, and just, you know, if you want to add anything, you can just go ahead and click on it and add it to your Confluence. Next up, we've got templates. Here is going to be self-explanatory. You've got multiple templates and multiple filters to search for, and you can create many different things. You can create blog posts, brainstorming, or whatever it may be, or use any templates of those, and you can obviously use it uh, to work on. And again, you can just make your team work on it as well. So this is going to be here for, for this tab. Search is going to be basically be uh, searching for any files or any task or anything within Confluence. So uh, if it's a file, I believe there's a file that is created, uh, which is called getting started. Let me see. Yeah, uh, so this one exists for within, you know, my spaces and my uh, Confluence. So getting started with Confluence, you can just search for it and you can just open it up easily from the search. And then you can see the rest are going to be notifications and settings. So uh, the first thing you will need to obviously just go ahead and add your um, people. You can just search for them, create a team and so on. So after you create your team inv and invite the people to Confluence, you'll be able to just uh, go ahead and click on create where you'll be able to create pages whiteboards where you can you know just um, brainstorm much easier without any restraints or too many restraints you've got blogs or smart link or we can just go ahead and start with a template but if we just click on page for example we can do a few things here so we can just again use a or choose a template from the right 
or what I like to do is import from Word document, Google Doc, or OneDrive. So if you prefer to work within Google Doc, uh, maybe go ahead and just finish up your work within Google Doc, and you can just then import it over here. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff here. You can add many things. You can just do, use this for commands if you want to add anything. So if you want to add uh, images or videos, emojis, expand, uh, if you want to add table, if you want to, to add status for um, tasks, so whether it's going to be urgent, not so urgent, that kind of stuff. A notes panel, a warning panel, a lot of stuff. You've, you've got multiple things. You just need to type in uh, slash and you'll be able to use all of those things now i'm not going to go into much depth here to how to actually go ahead and um, use all of this stuff this is going to be just again for getting started with things and you, you know you can just be more familiar as you use it and you can find a lot of futures that confluence um, really has uh, to offer and there's going to be a lot of stuff here and the rest is going to be very simple so uh, title and then you've got the elements like making the text bold changing the color of the text uh linking uh, text or whatever it may be and so on so uh would that be so you can for example add action items so you can do either slash action item and it's going to be a checkbox now uh, and you can just you know add anything or you can even assign it to someone by adding the at and you can assign it to for example yourself uh finish whatever that is and you can just go ahead and either publish or close draft uh and it's going to be obviously uh there within the recent now so this is pretty much how to be using Confluence. Again, I'm not going to go into the more detailed stuff like how to use all the commands within the pages and the whiteboard and all of those things uh, for, for time's sake. But uh, like generally speaking, what you will be doing is creating a team uh, and then creating a space for a specific project. So it's going to be for a team, for example. We just click on Next. Uh, give it an icon and all of those things and name your space. Just name it as your project. So we can just do project uh, one and we can just create space and you can also access more options if you want. And you can have uh, or add team members within that specific space. And you've got a lot of stuff. You've got content here. You can add more and more content uh, here. You'll be able to invite your people within this specific uh, space. Uh, you can edit or create automations and all of those things. So um, after you're done, you can just go ahead and go back to home, see an overview of what's going on within your Confluence for you and your team. And it's just going to be a very easy experience with team work. Uh, and that's pretty much how Confluence, of co sorry, Confluence works. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.